I really hesitate to even film today, but check out my hair. I actually did those braids yesterday and it is so curly and it's not necessarily even just like a wave. They're actual like really good curls. Anyway, I didn't even do makeup today because I just don't feel like it. But I'm not working out either. I'm just getting laundry caught up still. I'm still getting laundry caught up. Um, chatting with Lydia. So hi Lydia. <laughs> She's reading the Back in Hana books that I recommended. Um, these ones. This one is A House in Hana. This is the first one. She's reading Back in Hana. And I'm still working my way through the last one. I think I'm just trying to like savor it. So I haven't finished it yet. I, I only read like 10, 15 pages at a time. And I'm like, that's enough for today. Because I don't quite want to like give it up. Um, Abby has a drive today. It's her last one before her actual driving test. But she can't take that one until um, she turns 16 or right before she turns 16. Um, so this is her last one. And that's it. That's all I literally have planned today. There's no cheer for Ashley this week because she's on break. And Jason's at work. Um, I don't know what to do with my kids. And I'm not try I'm trying not to spend money um, just because we're trying to save for a lot of things and just trying not to spend. And so, yeah. And I think we're, Ashley really wants to go ice skating. So we might go do that Friday with Jason because I don't know if I'm going to ice skate. I didn't mind doing it. But anyway. So we'll see if we do anything fun today. If not, this is just wasted footage. <laughs> I don't know. I feel bad. But I just, I'm not motivated to think of fun things to go do. Um, but most things... I mean, most things take money, and here, if it's free and outside, um, we're just gonna get rained on. It's not raining right now. It's like, you can just it's just overcast, but it snowed overnight. Um, I don't think there's still any snow left on the ground. The rooftops were all covered in snow last night, and then you could still see it kind of on the grass and rocks and stuff, but it's gone now um people are up at higher elevation friends of mine they got like a whole blanket of snow but i guarantee you it's gone now so we didn't even get the snowstorm during the winter break that we thought we were gonna get so that's not even exciting and paris the dog did not end up staying overnight last night she was fine to go back home and stay with her little brothers if you want to call jacob and his brother that so I don't know if I can get through this. <laughs> We're only at Wednesday, you guys. We're only at Wednesday. I just keep trying to plan for Hawaii because it's the only thing getting through this like little winter break. And then we have a lot of weeks left until we actually go. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I forgot that I had another wick, wood wick candle that I got for Christmas that I hadn't started burning yet. This one right here I had before. Um, it's almost gone. In fact, I don't even know if it'll light. There's only a little bit left in it. And this one kind of has like a, a cinnamony scent to it, like a Christmassy scent. Um, what was this one called? Yeah, it's pumpkin spice. And I just don't want that smell. So I'm, I might actually just put that in a cupboard and save it for, I don't know, a really moody day and use it then. Abby is headed in. I don't know if she's taking her driver's test. I really don't. I don't really understand. She's like, yeah, this is my last one. This is my last drive. And I can't schedule anything else. This is going to fulfill all of her drives. And she says, this is a test. <laughs> so this might be her driver's test. She's taking it very nonchalant. But she, she keeps saying, it is my driver's test. It is a test. So I don't, she's not nervous at all about it. She's a great driver. So, um, we might suddenly have a, she passed her driving test day. I don't, I really don't know. So, time will tell. I'm going to the bank really quick and, um, going to sit and wait because there's no point in going back home. <laughs> it takes just as much time to get back home as it does to come back down and get her and have like five minutes to spare. She's coming to my side of the car. He wants to talk about it or something. Okay. Uh, oh, hi. Good, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. 
how you doing? I'm good. So we got a couple things we're going to talk about here real quick. So uh, first off, I'd like to say you do pass. Okay. okay. But we are at 80 points out of 80. We yeah. need exactly 80 to pass. Yeah. So yeah. we, we got some things we got to clean up. Okay. So we... Just so you know what you guys can work on before the, the state exam. Okay. Um, and when do I sign up? When is the state exam done? Okay. So as of this moment, um, we've got all the requirements for the um, driver's ed done. I'm going to submit this to the DOL. It takes about three weeks. Okay. You guys will get an email that says, congratulations, you passed. Okay. And uh, once you get that email, you can then sign up for the state stuff, the written and the driving. Oh, okay. So it's going to be about three weeks. Okay. So, so then she still has to do the written and the driving test? For the state, yes. But is it through you guys still? Um, if you guys want to, you can. You can do it through the DOL as well. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. Any questions? Nope. Nope. Okay. Okay. You guys have a good day. Thank you. I am going to be cautious of... <laughs> she did technically pass this test. Abby did. She did pass it, but she still has to pass like the state test. We can still take it through the same place. But um, I won't go into a ton of details. I'm probably going to cut out a majority of what um, the instructor said. He was not treating her well. And he had it out against her from the second she got into the car. And critiqued her every single step of the way. Some of the things were her fault. Yes, speed is a thing, but there are certain hills that is next to impossible without like completely breaking to the pet, like floorboards in order to go the speed limit to come down a certain hill in our in our town. It is so hard to go down steep hills. Anyway, that's all I'll say. So she passed this one and allows her to then um, sign up for the state test her driving test so today's wasn't the final one but that's all we're gonna talk about I didn't like put her on camera I didn't want to blast her she was really upset when she got in the car um, it's been a couple hours now she's fine we had a good talk before we came home um, so we're just not gonna talk about it <laughs> it's just not how she wanted the experience to go I think she's the mad the most because none of the other instructors treated her like that. None of them ever critiqued her like that. They never said that she did this, this, and this, and this, and this, this, this wrong. She'd always done those things just fine. She doesn't know why it suddenly was a problem today with this instructor. And she just got so agitated that like little things kept messing up and that just was irritating the instructor even more. Anyway, but Jason just got home. And um, I'm watching that documentary of the Murdoch trials because I got hooked onto it from TikTok, and so now I'm watching the now I'm watching the documentary on Netflix, and I'm anyway quite obsessed with it. But Jason yeah. brought home shoes for you, and you're gonna wear these shoes instead of Crocs so that we can help your knee. I'm only getting Ashley. Where are you? Where are you? Move. Well, Tweedledee. No watch you. So what, what ones are we trying on? You should try on all of them. See what, I have that in a lighter, like kind of whitish color. No. Whoa! Oh, Ooh, hey, there's Jason. <laughs> he is not missed on the road when he goes out, but you're not going outside. No, no, it's too cold, man. It's like coming up on freezing. I know it is. It's quite cold. You had snore, snow up by the store <laughs> today. Yeah, oh, did, you, did you get videos of it? Video of it. Insert snow at the store. Uh, coming down. I don't know if you can see it. It's coming down pretty good. All right, so she's Chelsea's got these on. She's like, wow, these are big shoes. I just don't like it's them. just there's a lot of white. There's a lot of soul to yeah. these shoes. And they're, these are, oh, these are New Balances. I thought they were Hoka's. Are these the new ones that are trying to be like the Hoka's? Yep. Oh, yeah, exactly. They're, they're definitely like I was running for that because my new New Balances are not like that at all. Whenever um, we go. So. Whenever we go. And oh, stop. You're short. Don't even. You're not, you? you're not taller than me. Don't even. I'm not saying I'm taller. I said I feel like I'm almost the height of you. No, I'm not even on my tippy toes. Stop it. Oh, these ones are cute. I like those ones for you, Chels. 
these you don't are, like these? These are waterproof. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a kid. Trying to get her to wear regular shoes is like trying to get her to wear pants. No. <laughs> pants. I also want to watch you walk around so I can see what your foot's doing. Yeah. yeah. So put them on and then put both of them on. He needs to see. This is what he does. Okay. <laughs> yes, you do need to try them on. Yeah, I did. No, I both did. of them. Your feet are different. You need to walk around and then and choose the one you're actually these. going to wear. Yeah. I would I didn't end it yesterday. <laughs> I was just gonna do like a whole like, oh, we didn't end our day yesterday. <sighs> it was an awkward, I, I didn't feel like I could like talk out loud the rest of that day. <laughs> I didn't want Abby to feel un uncomfortable. I still kind of feel like I shouldn't mention it, but um, I think I was gonna leave my hair down. I tried to put like gel in it this morning, but I think I'm, I think I'm kind of over it. I'm gonna pull it up. Um, I just didn't want to leave it with just like a title. <laughs> okay, we didn't end our video. Um, but our days are kind of feeling like like quarantine days where we don't do anything and I eat chips. And I, I it's bad trend of doing nothing. Um, part of the problem is I could take the kids to go do something like Chelsea and Ashley. Abby and Kaylee wouldn't want to do anything. Um, Kaylee's already over at her boyfriend's. Abby has already worked today. Um, and so, but Abby, or Chelsea and Ashley don't want, there's just the two of them to go, but every single one of their friends, and this happens every single break, the break that we're not going somewhere, all of their friends go somewhere. And then next break, when we go on vacation, all of their friends are going to be home. And they're going to be like, why are you home to play with us? It happens every single time. So they literally don't have any friends to hang out with. And so they just sit here all day. And they don't want to go anywhere because they don't have a friend to go anywhere with. Um, I think the two of them would have fun. And I might have some plans today to work on. But that, it's just <laughs> very boring. Very boring for them. Very boring for me. The girls are picking up hours at their jobs, which is fantastic. But for the rest of us, it's pretty boring. So, just wanted to let you know, Abby's doing fine. She's feeling much better today. And uh, we'll just wait for a couple weeks until we can get the scheduling of her actual written test and driving test. And we'll just practice. And I, I, when I listened back to the footage, and I'm, Jason hasn't, I told him all about it last night. Um, but when I listened back to that footage um, and listened to him, you're going to tell me in the comments, I bet, well, it didn't sound that bad. I don't, you know, and I took out like five minutes of footage, but his tone was the same. Like I'm hearing it and I'm thinking if I was hearing this for the first time, I would think that it wasn't a big deal. Obviously I didn't, I didn't leave in all the parts where all the things that she did wrong. Um, and a lot of them were wrong. It's just the way he was talking, his, his, physical demeanor and the way he was looking at Abby and like giving her physical attitude. I, I thought that I could, that that would come across in like the video of like just his verbal like audio. Mm -mm. It didn't come across at all. Like just his demeanor in front of her was so rude and so disgusting. He just didn't want to have anything to do with her. So we will not be scheduling her final test drive with him. I, you can pick what instructor you want. And if I, if he's the only one available certain weeks or whatever for it, mm -mm, I'll call the office and I'll be like, no, not him. You can have, you can pick anyone else, but not him. He, she will not get in the car again with him. He had it out from her for her the whole, the whole time. So, um, yes, she's going to work on a few things and do a lot better next time. Um, but I, she shouldn't have been treated like that. And it's really unfortunate for her, um, to kind of have that as her last experience. But luckily it was like her, one of her last ones and not like her first one and setting the stage for that because that would have been horrible. So I'm going to sign off with you guys, edit this video now that <laughs> I have an ending to it. And, um, we'll see if I film one of our last days of midwinter break. Um, I'm wondering if, I think it's an, a thing for the, for, um, 
West Coast people to have midwinter break. Everyone I talked to that I quit, why do you have a break? My kids were only out for Monday, President's Day. Um, because when you live in the Northwest and it's absolutely depressing and rainy for nine months of the year, you have a midwinter break to take a break from it because everyone we know gets out of town. <laughs> Every one of our friends right now, they're in California. California or Arizona. Every, I'm not even joking. Everyone I know is in California or Arizona. Disneyland or Arizona. Palm Springs, Arizona. <laughs> like everyone. So that's what we do. That's why we have midwinter mid break. It's just really depressing here. Um, I would have gone for midwinter break because I was, I knew I would probably need it, need it sooner. I just couldn't do the prices in February. They've just gone up and then turns out the prices are higher in April too. But I just <laughs> like, well, screw it. Let's just do it. So anyway, that's how it's been going this week and we'll see if we survive the rest of the week. All right, take care. Easy.